the first full day of the Women's Moto Camping Rally. This video is part three of our ride today. We rode down the Twisty Canyon to Gilman Tunnels, then through the hills back towards our campground. I had a great time with these ladies from In Cahoots Motor Rally exploring the mountains of New Mexico. The Gilman Tunnels. Here comes the last ladies in our group. The Falls at Gilman Tunnels. The Gilman Tunnels were blasted in the 1920s by the Logging Railroad. The Guadalupe River that at least this section of the road follows. This is now Forest Service Road 376. Going back the way we came, through the Guadalupe Box Canyon. Having fun echoing through the tunnels, and that always makes me smile. This road is on a website for the world's most dangerous and spectacular roads. The section we were on from Highway 4 to the Gilman Tunnels is paved and was fun. Not far north from where we were, there is a gate that's often closed due to poor road conditions. Most of this road is narrow and really meant for one lane traffic. One of the bonuses of being on bikes. I can't imagine doing this in a large truck. Mudslides and rock slides are not uncommon on this road. This road was originally part of the Santa Fe Northwest Railway.
It is now part of the Santa Fe National Forest. The railway transported lumber out of the Jemez Mountains. It closed in 1941 after being damaged by a flood from the Guadalupe River. We are passing a sign for open grazing. Luckily, we did not see any cattle on the road during this ride. However, we often see cattle on the road in open grazing areas during the day and the night. Gilman Tunnels and Guadalupe Box Canyon have been used for movies over the years. The better known ones are 310 to Yuma and The Scorch Trials, which is a sequel to The Maze Runner. The Santa Fe National Forest and area offers many outdoor and historical things to explore. There are many rivers and mountains and over a thousand miles of hiking trails. From May to September is a popular time for whitewater rafting. There are a few rivers to raft in the park, and tours range from half a day to overnight. Local animals include turkey, elk, deer, and bear. Santa Fe National Forest does have prescribed birds. These are usually in September through November, and they will be posted on the website.
We are now riding south on Highway 4. Highway 4 is also called Amez Mountain Trail National Scenic Byway. We are entering the highway just south of Jemez Springs. Some of the friendly local kids waving at us as we rode by. The park rangers will occasionally host a tour of different things in the park. For example, a drive and a hike to see some petroglyphs. Information on these can be found at the Forest Service website. There are many outfitters and guides in this area. They can help you with anything from hunting, fishing, rock climbing, touring with the four-wheel drive, mountain biking, or horseback riding. On the National Forest map, there are no stops along Forest Service Road 376. On Highway 4, still on the forest, there's many spots for fishing, two campgrounds, and a couple of picnic areas. Thanks for joining us on our ride through Santa Fe National Forest and the Gilman Tunnels. Please hit like, subscribe and the little bell and you will be notified for my next video. Our next ride is up the Twisty Mountain Road to Sandia Crest. Thanks to the ladies of In Cahoots for an awesome day of riding. And thanks to the ladies of In Cahoots for giving us all a place to meet each other and having a great few days in the mountains of New Mexico.